Okay, so I want to get some things clarified because um, the, this is the this is the beginning of, of the premium A plus, so to speak, is how you qualify for it. So um, you uh, you mentioned very briefly, but let's you know analyze it a little bit. So in order to have in order to qualify for premium A plus, you must have fifteen approved A plus content in the past twelve months with a brand story, right? That's the requirement. That's correct. Yes. So that means 15 individual ASINs? Yeah, and I see a lot of people like utilize just like using child ASINs or just using specific ASINs. And even if you just make a little bit of change to it, the system picks it up those within the past 12 months and then you could be approved for that that way. So can you have can you qualify for premium A plus with only one single ASIN? Technically, no, you need 15 ASINs, but a lot of people just make different variations. And even if it's not live, but it's still connected and the system picks up that you have 15 and then you just apply it to those as well. And then that's like a little loophole to go, you know, um, that uh, you can get approved for it. Yes. So the language is, you know, the language that they written. Yeah, well, I'm not sure if they've done it on purpose or not, but Amazon does not actually say 15 unique ACEs. All it says is 15 approved A, uh, A, A plus, standard A plus. So yeah. what you can do with a single ASIN is just create, just clone an existing one that's approved and make some changes and then submit again. So that's now version number two, and then you can just keep going. Don't go doing it all in one day. Uh, so <laughs> I, <laughs> right, I had a client, you know what he did? He scheduled a task uh, in his uh, Outlook calendar to create one every three days. <laughs> so so uh, it, was, it was literally uh, one single ASIN. Now they did not have uh, just one ASIN in their account, but they had one parent, but they had, uh, they were all 10 individual child SKUs, but he only created a premium, a, a standard A plus on one of them. And then he just kept submitting every three days, he submitted one. And then after the, the 15th one, he applied. In fact, I remember uh, him saying to me that he didn't even have to apply. It just came right up that now you, you qualify for premium A+. plus. That's cool. Yeah. Um. So what, what I've also seen is, I'm not 100% sure if it works, but what I have seen is that since there are different uh, languages, right, like for uh, English, Spanish, and whatever, even in the U.S. marketplace, that if you make the changes according to the language, it'll pick up as a change, and then you could do that 15 times across uh, a couple of different ASINs, and then I'll, I'll pick it up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know that if anybody just sells one single ASIN, they have multiple ASINs, but it's uh, the, that the, bottom line, they're not saying that you must have unique A, standard A plus content for 15 different ASINs. You could have with a handful of ASINs, I guess you could just recreate the same one. And then as long as it's approved, there, you will have your 15 approved uh, standard A+. Plus. Okay, exactly, cool. Yeah. 